So first things first, I'm going to travel up to the Mage Arena to get all the staffs. The good thing is, is that, yeah, I'm wasting money to buy the staffs, but you can ALK them afterwards. I don't know which, I know I have one of them already unlocked, one of the spells, I'm not sure which. I think it might be Guthics, but I'm going to find out first. I'm going to go get all the staffs and test it out, and then I'm going to come back to Varrock and buy all the runes and such. Alright, so 80k a pop, gotta buy all of them, because you have to use them on, like, the corresponding god, whatever. So you need all of them anyways. Hopefully the runes don't cost too much. Before I do anything, I'm gonna check which one I actually have unlocked. Alright, so let's test this out. First one, Ceridoman Strike. Do not have unlocked. Guthics. Do have unlocked. And I'm pretty sure I don't have Zamorak unlocked. Okay, yeah, so I've got to get Zamorak and Ceridoman unlocked before I even start the Mage Arena 2. Alrighty, well, let's get to unlocking these spells. Hopefully it don't take too long. The fact that you can't auto-cast these spells is the worst part. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculously annoying for no reason. Hopefully Torvesta ain't here to skull trick me. Alright, and that should be the Zami spell unlocked. Yep, so now to do the Sarah spell. For another 200 casts. Hooray. This is going to be so much fun. Luckily it's not taking nearly as long as I thought it would. And in the middle of getting my spells unlocked there is 88 magic. There's the Ceridome and Strike unlocked so now I can start Majorina 2. Now you guys can't even begin to fathom how pissed off this fucking Majorina 2 made me. Let me explain to you what happened. So first off, we start, I don't really know what I'm doing. I mean, I watched a guide, but obviously this is my first time doing it, so whatever. So I find the first demon. Uh, I don't really know how to lure it. I'm trying to lure it behind this tree, and apparently it's out of its attack range, so I got to lure it to another tree. So I finally get it lured onto that tree. I'm attacking it. It's almost dead. You know, I got about probably like three-fourths of it dead. It despawns. I'm like, okay, cool. Whatever, you know, that's uh, that's my fault. I didn't know what I was doing, so now I come in more prepared. You know, I know where it spawns. I know all that good stuff. I know how to, they, it's out of certain lure ranges and all that stuff. So I search for it again, or the second time fighting the first demon, it's right by the Chaos Elemental. Now, luckily for me, the Chaos Elemental is not near where I'm at. So, you know, I think, okay, I'm good. I'm going to be able to kill this demon. So I get to about half health, and guess who decides to show up? Chaos Elemental. Takes off all my armor teleports me and at the same time I get frozen by the demons so I'm just sitting here chugging brews eventually I run out of food so I've got to try again I'm already getting angry and it's only you know I'm not even nearly done with what happened so you know I go up regear come back so I'm sitting there I'm splashing left and right you know like probably like 15 hits in a row straight splashes so I finally start hitting and I get it literally to one hit before it dies so <laughs> click on my spell go to click on it despawns like really that's bullshit, like literally one hit away. And the worst part is, the next time I went up there to fight the demon again, the exact same thing happened. On the last hit, it despawned. So, two times in a row, I'm getting frustrated as fuck, getting angry, you know, bashing my keyboard. And then, I think I tried the demon three more times, ran out of food, because I just kept splashing and it kept hitting me. Splashes left and right. Someone in my clan chat that I'm in is like, I'm just, I'm like frustrated as fuck. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Asking people, blah, blah, blah. Like, are you wearing an occult necklace? I'm like, I'm a fucking idiot. Why am I not wearing an occult necklace? For some reason, I didn't think it would work with the Mage Arena spells. And then he suggested me to get recoil rings also. So I put on my occult recoil rings and the next two demons are literally easy peasy. So for anybody that does the Mage Arena 2, bring recoils, bring an occult necklace and you won't want to kill yourself like I wanted to because that was literally the worst thing I have ever gone through. It was absolutely horrible. Alright, and there we go. There is 200 Vorkath kill count, which means I now have 50 kills banked. So I'm going to grab all the loot from 50 kills and we are going to see how much in loot we have. Now granted, that's not all profit because I've spent money on things like Potions, food, scales, blowpipe scales, uh, addy darts, all that stuff. So let's gather all the loot and see how much money we've profited. Or not. 
see how much money and loot we have. And here's the first inventory of loot. 5.6 mil, it's pretty good. Sell off all the stuff. I think that's pretty much all the loot I have. I mean, I, have, I think I have a couple more things in the bank. But it's not going to be anything too significant. So I'm guessing I'll have close to probably 6 mil cash in loot. I'm not 100% sure. So 5.7 mil in loot from 50 Vorkath kills. That puts my total cash pile at 6 mil. Plus Trident, all that good stuff. Not 100% sure. I'm actually going to price check my bank real quick just to see exactly what I'm at. Alright, so I'm assuming maybe around 10 mil. Oh, wow. It's more than I thought. So 12.5 mil. It's pretty good. Um, still got, what is that, like 80, 88 mil to go. Well, plus my trident. It's almost, my trident's almost full too. So that's probably add another 1 mil on there. So about 13.5 mil total bank so far we're getting there we're getting there slowly but surely so as most of you probably know by now they've updated revenants and apparently some people are getting like five mil per hour and that's people with like 99 range and dragon darts and stuff like that i have 98 range so that's almost 99 pretty much so i'm gonna go up there and see if i can actually make some decent money i'm gonna time myself and see how much i make per hour apparently there's a lot of pkers though so I don't really know when to bank, but I'm just going to try it out and see what happens and see if I can make some profit. Alright, and I'm going to do this for an hour, so let the timer begin. Hopefully we don't die like a million times, and hopefully we can make some decent profits. So it has now been 20 minutes, and we're looking at probably about 600k total. Not nearly the 5 mil per hour people are saying, but still 600k in about 20 minutes. That makes for almost 2 mil an hour so far. I don't know if I'm just getting unlucky with hits and stuff. I'm not hitting for shit. Like, people are getting a lot of the kills over me. So if I were to get more kills, I would. I can see why it would definitely be 5 mil per hour. But I'm just not really getting all that lucky. And I've got to compete with a lot of people for kills. I'm really hoping to get one of those statuettes. So far, I haven't seen anybody get one in, the, in their, like, loots. So somebody's bound to get one soon. Hopefully it's me. Holy shit. That was like a million people. What the fuck? That was insane. Like literally the second I hopped worlds I got attacked and there was like eight fucking thousand people. Luckily I didn't have any loot on me. So it's been like 30 minutes. Um, I keep getting killed. There's a lot of PKers. I just, I don't really care that much. It's not, it's kind of annoying having to keep dying and going back up there. So I'm just going to price check my loot. I think... Mana rays. I think I only got 40 from a drop or something like that. Not sure how many laws. I don't know, but let's price check this. It's probably only like 700k, if that. So yeah, about 700k, so like 1.5 mil an hour. It's whatever. It's not the worst. It's not the best. I mean, obviously, if I was not getting killed every five seconds, I could make more money. But it was worth a try. You know, I wanted to just test it out since it's kind of new and they kind of buff the drops kind of new so maybe i'll go up the, up there maybe i'll go up there some other time for right now uh like i said kind of lame so a little later on in the night time uh, it was sunday everybody like right when everybody's going back to school and it was like sunday late at night probably around midnight and i decided to go back to revenants because i figured there'd be less pkers on since there's just less people on in general and the difference in loots that I was getting was ridiculous. Like, literally, my trips probably take 15 minutes. And every trip, I was making a mil plus. Like, it was not even, like... People are literally right about this stuff being, like, 4 mil an hour. Like, every single trip, 1 mil plus, 15-minute trips every time. And as you can see here, I got one of the Ancient Crystals... Which, according to OS Buddy, is worth 2.3 mil, which is an insane amount of money for no reason. 2.8 mil trip right there in 15 minutes, maybe less. And if you want to see the scale of uh, what it's like when a someone just when a clan just ravaged a world, I, I got I teleported and came back to the same world because I teleported out because there was a clan. And I literally cannot see anything. <laughs> there is so much crap on the ground. It's ridiculous. 
But after probably about three hours, this is my loot. About 8.7 mil in loot. So if you divide 8.6 by the three hours it probably took, you're looking at about nearly three mil an hour, which is just stupid. And then I took a little break and got back on. And I was on for probably about three hours. And this is the loot from three hours. As you can see, I got another, I got a two mil statue as well as a 500k statue. So after selling everything off, uncharging my blowpipe, all that stuff, my bank is currently at 30.5 mil, but I've also got a pretty much fully charged trident in the bank. So we'll add another one mil to that. So currently my bank's sitting at about 31 mil. Pretty big jump, considering before I even went to Revenants, my bank was 12 mil. So pretty ridiculous. We're up to 30 mil, only 70 mil to go. If I camp a lot of Revenants, it's literally gonna take like no time at all. 